it is only through pain that you can develop your strength. I'm only who I am because I've suffered. I became a millionaire because I've suffered. I became successful in businesses because I've suffered. I became a kickboxing champion when I was 17 because I suffered, both in training, both by getting bullied in school. Basically, everything good that you get in your life, you get it by going through a phase of pain, whether it is emotional or physical. I was super poor, I stayed, lived at my girlfriend's for about nine to 10 months. I was so poor, I had to wait in line in the university's dining hall to get free meals. I had to wait for one to two hours a, a day just to beg for food, basically. I had to survive on 200 euros a month. I had to do odd jobs for one euro per hour. I used to live in a shit hole, not, not a really good place. My life was crap. I was skinny, I was weak. I had social issues. I was not as good looking as I am right now. So there were a lot of issues in my life, generally, in, not in all aspects, socially, financially, health-wise and somebody gave me a kick in the ass. I could either get upset and try to find ways to justify that my situation was all right, that it was natural, that it wasn't my responsibility, that it was due to luck and due to financial crisis here in Greece or due to my parents not having given me everything I wanted due to lack of access to opportunities, but that would not have helped me. Motivational words and quotes wouldn't have helped me. Inspiration wouldn't have helped me. Nothing would have helped me apart from somebody telling me, you're a damn fucking loser. And if you don't do anything to change it right now, then when will you be in one, two, five, ten 10 years? Will you be living the life that you want to live? Or will you keep making excuses about your life being the way you are? And will you just keep satisfying yourself by immersing in fake, instant pleasure, easy to get pleasure. So somebody had told me, Damien, you're a loser. Wake up, bitch. You're wasting your life away. And I had to take that statement and not get offended, not get upset and just think and do a very honest, painful conversation with myself. Is that true? Do I have as much money as I would like to have? Health-wise, am I where I want to be? Do I look like the person I want to look like? Is my social circle where I wanted to be? Could I do better with my one life? Yes. So I had to accept that I was a loser because that was the only way I could become a winner. If I was delusional about my situation, nothing would have changed. Now, I live in a nice penthouse. I have homes in multiple countries, cars in multiple countries. I'm a multi-millionaire. I live a pretty good life, but it wasn't always like that. Nothing would have changed with somebody giving me a, a pat on the back like it has been happening for pretty much my whole life up until that point. Until I reached the age of 19 that I decided to take charge of my life and blaze my own path. I've always been getting a pat on the back, always been getting encouragement, good words, positivity, encouragement. I was told that I was doing all right. That's how life was supposed to be, that life isn't easy, that life must be hard, blah, blah, blah. All that bullshit you get, only not fake encouragement, but pointless encouragement. Because if you just sit down and think logically and examine the facts, facts never lie, numbers never lie, the mirror never lies about how you look, if you have a big fat belly, you're not healthy, you're not strong, you're weak, you're probably gonna die sooner than you should. If somebody jumps you on the street, you will not be able to defend yourself or your loved ones. If your bank account is three or four or even five digits, you're basically very close to being broke. If you cannot make ends meet, if you wait for two hours every day in the line to get free food, if you cannot even afford to pay your own rent and you have to be a burden on your girlfriend or your parents or the government, Numbers don't lie, your bank account's number isn't a lie, it's the truth about who you are. Now, how many of you are obese, out of shape, unhealthy, and have health issues just because of your lifestyle? How many of you are socially awkward when you go out? How many of you are shy? Kiss me. I, I, I don't think I can do this. How many of you guys particularly go out and cannot talk to girls. How many of you generally have issues in various aspects of your life? I'm not here to judge you if you have those issues, but you are there to judge yourself and to find ways to surpass those issues, all right? You have to be honest with yourself and do some honest self-examination and see whether or not, not whether or not you're a winner or a loser by my standards, but what are your standards? Do you accept your life as it is right now? Do you absolutely love your life? If you absolutely love your life the way it is right now, if you absolutely believe that you are living up to your potential, then you're good.
you have nothing to change. However, if there are things in your life that you regret, if something makes you upset, if you're not where you want to be financially, mentally, physically, socially, if you know you have issues. Houston, we have a problem. If you don't feel good about yourself, if you feel like you're not enough, if you feel depressed, if you feel unhappy, why are you not doing something to change that instead of trying to argue with me about whether I'm not right or wrong? Why don't you actually try to improve your life? Sometimes you need a kick in the ass. People do not get motivated and inspired by good deeds and being friendly and being kind and polite. Sometimes people need a kick in the butt, kick in the ass. For those of you who can sit down, think rationally and analyze your life and decide that you want more. Because everyone is capable of more, but unless you make that decision to go after it, you'll never have it. My problem with video games is that there is no pain there. It's all easy and sweet. Yeah, sometimes it can be challenging. You may have to put yourself in the thinking mode to overcome an obstacle in a video game, but in no way does it compare to obstacles in real life. Uh, in no way does it improve your life, even if you make money from it. Yeah, perhaps you turn video games into a career and you've found ways to monetize it, but that's a very small percentage of people who've done that, and even they are not immune to issues in other areas of life, like their health and their social life. I was a gamer myself for a lot of years, and I had good times with it, but overall, I didn't get anything really out of it, and if I could go back in time and change it, I wouldn't have played any video games at all. I'm not saying that your whole life should revolve about money, but a big part of your life revolves around money, and if you totally dismiss that part, then you're going to live a miserable existence in many ways. The pat on the back is not going to save you when your mother is in the hospital and she needs somebody to pay her medical bills or when you are in the hospital. Nothing is gonna save you but yourself, but you cannot save yourself the moment that a misfortune appears. You have to be preemptive. If you're not preemptive, then you're gonna pay the price much higher later. It's all about assessing your situation and trying to set all emotions aside. Not being delusional about who you are and where you are in your life. I cannot make that judgment for you. You have to make that judgment for yourself. And if you think you can avoid that decision, you're wrong. You will have to make that decision one day or you will suffer and pay the price of not making that decision. Momentarily, it's painful to acknowledge that basically your life is shit, but over the long term, that acknowledgement will pay dividends. Here's an important thing you should know that my mentor Grant Cardone told me. Who are you learning from? Are you learning from people who are not getting anywhere with their lives or are you getting from somebody who's been successful, who's been there that you want to be and done what you want to do? So here's the thing, I'll give you this key. This is a $250,000 Lamborghini. If you subscribe right now, I'm giving you this key. You can have this by subscribing right now, by watching the content of this channel, by going down in the description and signing up for my newsletter. And by the way, it's all freaking free. It's all freaking free. This will change your life. This is the key for a better life. So you'd better get it.